Hello and welcome to Jessie Bear Book Club. Today we are doing a quiz, but not just any quiz. From the Giant Magazine haul I had, we are doing the quizzes from 2016 the whole way up to 2019. There are six questions per magazine, so there are 24 questions in total. Let's see if I will do any better this time around. And help me, I have my lovely boyfriend, Cormac. Hello. And also, just to let you know, all these magazines are the BBC History magazine, and every single one is an issue from February. Isn't that fun? Let's begin. Question 1. In July 1948, 13-year-old Sylvia Diggory became the first person to receive something. What was it? It was 1938. 1948. Uh, so after the Second World War. She's 13. Uh, it, would it be the NHS thing that yes. she was the first person to get treatment on the NHS? Yes, that's correct. The free treatment on the NHS and ha. shout out to the NHS Ooh. for their hard work at the time. I get a little point. I only know that because of this year. It was on this morning and all the news because of the NHS and COVID. Oh, fantastic. So I learned that this year. <laughs> Excellent. Question two. Which classic 19th 19th century English novel's climactic scene is set at Stonehenge. 19th century novel? 19th century English novel climactic scene is set at Stonehenge. You know what I'm going to say? Because this is the only thing I can think of. Stig of the Dump. No. <laughs> I don't like Stig of the Dump. Tess of the of the Dur Urbervilles. Durbervilles, yeah. Yes. That's one of my dad's favorite books. Next question. Question three. What role did Jane Cooper play in the royal court of Mary Tudor? Oh, I know this, I know this. Wasn't she the court jester? That's exactly right. Ah, yes. two points. The year of the year 1536 saw a major rebellion in Northern England against the policies of Henry VIII's government. What was it known as? Pilgrimage of Grace. That's exactly right, yes. Aha. I love how I'm getting all the Tudor questions. <laughs> Okay, so there was a medal that was instituted in 1943, however, no man or woman has ever been awarded it. Why is this? Ooh, is it the medal for dogs? Yes, the Dickon Medal, which is awarded to outstanding acts of bravery or the devotion to duty by animals. Aha. So I think we'll give you that. Yeah, there was a dog that got that recently, it was on the news. Oh, fantastic. That's why I remember it. So we're moving on to 2018's questions. Okay. Go. Question one, again. What links the early 19th century Dukes of Dal Dalmeida, Edlison and Ragusa? Can I? I don't know if you pronounced those correctly. No, I did not. Dalmatia? Uh, I think. I don't even know how to pronounce those. Uh, I don't know. Were they all in the First World War? All three were French Napoleonic marshals who fought against Wellington, Sult, Ney and Marmont. I knew they were in a war. <laughs> Question two. Why was the unlearned par parliament of 1404 called? 1404? Uh, unlearned parliament. Unlearned? Yeah, that's Let's what it say. says. Unlearned. Unlearned. Or learned. I don't know. Uh, would it be to do with Henry the sixth going into that weird coma? No. Oh. It's because lawyers were banned from sitting in it. Oh. Right. Okay, cool. Question three. In eleven fifty two, Eleanor of Aquitaine Aquitaine. Aquitaine married the future Henry II of England. Who was her former husband? Oh oh it was uh was it Louis the no, it was it was Louis of France, but which one? I am gonna say Louis the Eighth. King Louis the Seventh of France. Ah, oh, I was so close. Oh, that's annoying. Do I get half a point? Yeah, if you want, I guess. No, I don't. Place. I don't think I should. <laughs> I was close though. Who seized? Who or what was the was seized in Ruthven Raid in fifteen eighty two? Ruthven Raid. Ruthven Raid. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, uh, the Holy Grail. The young king's, the young James sixth of Scotland. Oh, I should have known that. I read a book about that. 
What was originally founded in 1931 by Ninette de Valos? Let's look. Oh, I really don't know uh, what was founded. I am going to say Paris Fashion Week. The Royal Ballet, originally called Vic Wells Ballet. Well, similar, right? Eh? Go ahead. So, there's a building here. There's a photo of a building. Okay. Where is this building? The author of a famous children's poem published in 1806 as The Star Lived Here. Uh, known as The Star. I really... Uh, do I have to get like the town or can I just get the country? <laughs> well, if you're going to say the country, it's pretty obvious where it is. <laughs> okay, uh, I am going to say Blackpool. No, it's in... <laughs> La Vem, Suffolk. The poem was Twinkle, 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 Little Star by Jane Taylor. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. Okay, moving on to, is this magazine is from, oh, that, that's the second one. 16th. 16th. I thought there was three, four. No. Oh, there's only three. No, you, you missed one. There's one in the middle oh, there. Oh, so there is. My apologies, listeners. Okay, so this one is... This one is from the year 17. Okay. So I guess we're going backwards. It doesn't matter. Go Question ahead. one. Yep. Who went shopping in Baden's cutlery shop, cutlery shop in Paris in July, in the 13th of July, 1793? Napoleon. No, no, no. Duke of Wellington. No. I don't know. Charlotte Corday for the knife she used to stab the French revolutionary leader, Jean-Paul Marat. Wouldn't have got that. <laughs> next are you sure you're a fan of history yet i don't think you're getting many of these <laughs> i'm a fan of like some history yeah. most I, i'm not really a big fan of like napoleonic wars or yeah. anything what links a history of the world by sir walter Raleigh, fanny hill by john cleland and de Purfles by oscar wilde let me see what links the history of the world by Sir Walter Raleigh, Fanny Hill. Fanny Hill is that ridiculous TV show. Uh, and I know, okay, so Fanny Hill stars prostitutes around the world by Walter Raleigh is about his life. So that might have prostitutes in it. I'm going to say prostitutes. You're way off here. <laughs> well, okay, if they were all written in prisons, the, the people who wrote these were in prison when they wrote the their books, TV show plays, whatever. Okay, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know what two of them were, at least. Okay. <clears throat> Question three. Yes. Who was Mercedes Arterin Romania Manuela Jelanek? Who uh... Hmm. Was she perhaps the last descendant of... I'm going to say the kings of France. No. Okay, tell me. I think the clue was in the name. Oh, was she like the founder of Mercedes? She was the daughter of German automobile entrepreneur Emil Jenlek, who's who named his Mercedes cars after her. You see, right? I thought that was too simple. <laughs> that was like my first answer. I was like, does she own Mercedes? And then I was like, no, that's too like that's too simple. Well, she didn't own Mercedes, but like oh, she sure was. Oh, sure, she inherited. She had a car it. named after her. Okay. Which must be pretty sweet. <laughs> Which town was the de facto capital of Wales from the 15th century until 1689? Ludlow. That's correct. Aha, another point for me. How did the Mayflower Pilgrim, Dorth Pilgrim Dorothy Bradford meet her death on 17th of December 1620? Starvation. She fell overboard. Well, I did read an article about a pilgrim who starved to death and then her like fellow pilgrims yeah. ate her. All right. So that was fresh in my mind. So we've got a building here. Okay. Another picture. Nice building. So which well-traveled fictional character is described as having been educated here? Ooh, I am going to say Flashman. No. Okay. Who? Le May Lemieux Le Gulliver of Gulliver's Travels. Oh, He was Gulliver. in Emmanuel Cam College of Cambridge. Oh, I like Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> Did you ever watch the movie? 
uh, you have with yeah. um, your man Ted Danson. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, it's a good film. I don't like the remake though. Hmm. With Jack Black. <laughs> I don't like Jack <laughs> no Black. No one likes that. <laughs> okay, last one. This is 2016, I think. This magazine. Uh, yes, I believe it is. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Which title was first officially used by Sir Henry C Campbell Bannerman? Which title? Which title was first officially used by Sir Henry Campbell Bannerman? Uh, Campbell, I'm going to say Baron of Soup. Nope. Prime Minister. Oh, would not have known that. What links Robert Barlow, William Cavendish, William St. William St. Lowe and George Talbot. Oh, oh, I know this, I know this. Didn't they try and organise a rebellion with Mary Queen of Scots to overthrow Elizabeth I? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> the way off, they were all, at some point, married to Bess of Hardwick. Oh. Oh yeah, Hardwick Hall. I should have known that. <laughs> yeah. It just, George Cavendish was the only one I kind of like recognised yeah. in that and I was like, I'm sure I know this. Yeah. Okay, question three. Yeah. Which English artist was killed in July 1944 while serving with the Welsh Guards in Normandy? Ooh. I don't know. Rex Whistler. Okay. Number four. How did Halifax-born Percy Shaw make a major contribution to road safety in 1934? He invented cat eyes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> well done. Question five, which Venetian born 15th century writer's last known work was a poem in, in eulogizing Joan of Arc? Uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, uh, is it the dude that wrote, uh, is it the dude that wrote the thing about Cesare Borgia whose name is escaping me right now? Um, Machiavelli? Nope. Okay. Who? Christine de Pazan. Pisan. Oh. Christine de Pisan. She's a woman. Yeah. As okay. I said, which Venetian born 15th century writers? It doesn't say. It, it doesn't say. Yeah, it, no, that's why I assumed it was a man. <laughs> okay, so there's a statue here. It's a statue of a man and a dog. Okay. The statue of Lincolnshire poet is among the last works of one of Victorian England's best known artists. Who was the poet and who was the artist? Ah. Uh. Poet? Uh, maybe I'll just say like something random like Charles Dickens because I don't know. Mm -hmm. And the artist, uh, would it be Princess Louise? Way off. <laughs> okay. Alfred Lord Tennyson is the poet and George Frederick Watts was the artist. Okay, that's not bad. I did better than our last quiz. I think you did. I have got six points out of a total of 24. Yep. Not the best. Not overly proud of that. Yeah. Because <laughs> there were some much easier questions in there. Yep. I think you should probably just start reading the magazines. Maybe learn something. <laughs> oh, shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quiz. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.